Sorry, Sora, but it isn't your time yet to be passed on the power of the Keyblade, as Riku is destined to hold the power at the moment. Hey everybody, this is Double RPG, and welcome to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP. In this episode, we are meeting with Riku to pass on the power of the Keyblade to him, and then we're going to meet up with Master Xehanort once more, and then we are going to get on with a tragic battle in the Land of Departure. And you will see what I mean. Anyway... On with the episode in progress. Right now, we are meeting Riku as he tells us about how he wants to go on an adventure and become strong to strong enough to fight for his friends and to leave his island one day. I heard one. There was a kid who left for good. And here is an older Riku that Terra envisions, which we've seen in Kingdom Hearts 2. That's exactly how he's going to see him anyway. if they meet each other in Kingdom Hearts 3, but we'll have to see. Is there some reason you're interested in the outside world? Yeah. I want to be strong one day. Like that kid who left. Riku has he that same incentive as Terra, where he's, he's obsessed really with power, but... Riku handles you know, it in a different way than Terra does. That I need. And if you played Kingdom Hearts 2, then you'll know exactly what I mean. You know, like my friends. Outside this tiny world is a much bigger one. This is where he passes on Riku the power of the Keyblade. It's very touching if you think about it. In your hand, take this key. So long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be, and you will find me, friend. No ocean will contain you then. No more borders around or below or above, so long as you champion the ones you love. That's a very strong ritual to pass on the power to somebody. Riku! Hmm? Come on, hurry it up! You gotta keep this a secret, okay? Otherwise, all the magic will wear off. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that all about? Uh, you know. Know what? Why won't you tell me? Who was that guy? Somebody you know? Maybe. And that's well, exactly you right, know, like Riku from know. Kingdom Hearts 1. I really can't. I've got to keep it a secret. Where he has that yeah, little, uh, like secretive attitude of his. To where he isn't open with Sora, but he is open with him in Kingdom Hearts 2. But for those of you who play Kingdom Hearts 1, yeah, he was a bit of a smart aleck, but... Still a good friend at heart. Me too. So, I still have things that I have to protect. Good incentive. And we get this new Keyblade called Ends of the Earth. And that is the Keyblade that the Lingering Cinnamon uses in Kingdom Hearts 2. That light. Is it Ben? Master Terra, find me. We must speak at once. And there goes Master Xehanort again. Master Xehanort. We're gonna learn why uh, Ventus is going that way. And we libera liberated the light within Neverland, and we unlocked its command board. And I don't think we liberated the light within Destiny Islands, so... We're going to go back over to the Badlands and see what Master Xehanort is up to and what he needs to tell us. Master Xehanort, you wish to see me? There is no time to lose. I have terrible news. Ventus has stumbled upon the secrets of his origins. Then? I just saw him. He passed right in front of me. What happened? Ventus is on his way home. The 
if you could have seen the fury in his eyes. I'm certain he's capable of anything. I fear the boy may attempt to force the truth out of Ericus. Master Terra, you must hurry back and see to your friend's safety. Of course. But little does he know, it was all part of a ploy that Master Xanort <laughs> is pulling. Which we are going to go ahead and get back over to the Land of Departure. And we just unlocked the Dark Impulse uh, command style, which we will use in the upcoming battle against Master Ericus. But uh, I'll be right back. And I am back, and we are here at the Land of Departure, where we're going to ensue in a tragic battle. But you must exist no more. Ben! What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you, step aside. No! You will not heed your master? I won't! Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? If you don't have it in your heart to obey, then you will have to share Ventus's fate. This scene is actually one of the most highlighted scenes in this game. Because it's a battle between father and son. It kind of follows that same incentive in Greek mythology where uh, the son overpowers his father. Little reference right there if you played, you know, God of War. Uh, God of War 3, actually. You may be my master, but I will not let you hurt my friend! Has the darkness taken you, Terra? When you think that light should be emitting from him, there is darkness that is surrounding him. Wait, Terra! And Master Ericus is filled with lots of light, so... He has to find a way to counter him, and we are going to be battling against Master Ericus, where we need to quell his anger by defeating him. And we will activate the Grand... I mean, the Dark Impulse command style. This is a really good command you need to use against him, as um, it will rend uh, Master Ericus immobile for a bit, but do not try to stay stationary for too long, or else... Uh, Master Ericus is going to just pummel you like crazy, and he will definitely pummel you in the uh, harder difficulty. So, if you're going to beat him, then you at least need to be over level 30. I would go ahead and say that for about any uh, any uh, difficulty that you're playing on, but since we're playing on beginner mode, we should be able to defeat him with no problem, since we still have the, uh, the uh, Keyblade that we're using. And we should be able to get another one after we defeat Master Ericus and complete this world again. And he's using an ability like that. Basically, it's one of those abilities where there are beams of light just circling around him and you have to uh, evade those beams. And he'll do uh, a powerful dash attack, kind of like uh, what Cloud does in uh, the Olympus Coliseum in Kingdom Hearts 1 and in uh, Hades Under underworld uh tournament arena in kingdom hearts 2 so uh when you're fighting against ericus sometimes it's b best to stay you know keep middle distance between him so that way if he does use his dash technique you can instantly counter him with a uh guard attack and i mean with a guard and then you can attack him from where you're at like that does some pretty hefty damage and uh as you keep doing that, you will uh, get your command style to go back to Dark Impulse. So make sure you keep getting that command style to come out because it will be a saving grace uh, later on in the in the fight. So like it is right now, and we should be able to defeat Master Ericus very shortly, which should be yeah. And he's pummeling us with his death attack. We should be able to defeat him right now where we got a maximum HP increase, which is always good. 
And now we're about to endure some more tragedy coming up. What have I done? Master, I just wanted to keep Ven safe. No, you were right. I failed you, Terra. Perhaps I've no one to blame but myself for the darkness inside you. And now I've done worse. Raised my keyblade against you and Ventus. A father's remorse. My own heart is darkness. <laughs> and the one who struck him down was... You will find out shortly. And you saw darkness being struck behind him, and you can already guess who attacked him. Ah, oh, so sad when somebody dies. Especially a strong character within a game. Well, Master Ericus wasn't really that strong, but he did have a high presence nonetheless. Master Ericus. What a sight. Why do you trouble yourself? Oh, yeah. It was Master Xehanort who attacked uh, Master Ericus from behind. His own pupil. <laughs> Master Xehanort, why? You know, at times I find your progress quite striking. And Terra you finally learns the truth about Xehanort's own doing. Let all that anger out, my boy. Give your heart over to darkness. In any way you what think you about mean? it, Xehanort really is a very cunning villain. As his original self, I would say he's more cunning than his uh, heartless and nobody counterparts. The Keyblade Graveyard. The Keyblade Graveyard. That was where Master Xehanort was all along, but it was just overshadowed with a bunch of clouds and stuff that we saw in the lanes in between. And now, the Land of Departure is going to meet its untimely doom. I also need to point out that Xehanort, with the X out, not only is it an anagram for no heart, but it's also an anagram for the word another. Yeah, so might as well pose a little bit more of a tidbit of information there on what the name actually stood for, other than, you know, no heart, if you took a look at, at them as anagrams. It's a very interesting concept, you know, where you take an anagram and you put in the letter and you try to make a name out of it. Kind of like, uh, like Xehanort, for instance, you know, with the words another and the phrase no heart. But enough of my jabbing on about that. We are going to be leaving the Land of Departure, which is now being destroyed, and we are going to be making our way to the Keyblade Graveyard, where we're sure to do justice for what Xehanort has done. But our, but our time to get to the Keyblade Graveyard will have to wait until another episode. And here we have gained this Keyblade called Chaos Ripper, and it's a very strong one, and one that's very awesome, very recommended to use against Master Xehanort. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to close things off here, so next time on Double RPG, let's play with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP. We're going to be going over to the Keyblade Graveyard and trying to get through the final sequence of Terra's story. But we'll have to see how many episodes it will take, probably at least two or three, but uh, it should be a great way to close this chapter. But anyway... Take care of yourselves, gamers, and I'll see you on the next episode. See you guys then.